If you want to implement pagination in your Next.js application and you have already set up setcn, this is the better component that you can use in your application. So let's take a look, what is this? This is the pagination with Next.js link. As you can see, this look really simple to implement, by the way. As you can see, just take a look on this link in the top right here. If I click two, as you can see, it's adding params equals page set equals to two. And if I, as you can see here, go to this row per page if i change that to 25 for example as you can see here it's adding the page size to 25. so yeah we are going to try to use this pagination and then we are going to use json placeholder to basically make a fetch request in this api so let's just get started first let's generate next.js application we can do create next app at lettuce and the name of the application you want TypeScript yes, ESLIN yes, Tailwind yes, Source Directory I'm going to say no, App Router yes, Import alias just say no. After reinstallation done, you can just open that in Visual Studio Code and I just remove all the return here, just put hello world and do npm run dev and it should be localhost 3000 right here and we just have hello world. The next thing what we're going to do is let's install a set CN. So let's go to installation, next yes, and just copy this command. I'm going to select New York, neutral, this is variable to say yes, and it will install all the dependency that we need. Great, it's done. So the next thing is, I just want to add the, let's go to pagination, let's search pagination, hit enter, as this is what we are going to use basically. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to use npm, paste that terminal, and hit enter. Now, as you can see, we have components and then UI and then button and pagination, right? And also, basically, we are going to use the, let me see right here, select component. So let's go back to the set CN and search for select. And we are going to install this select right here. Let's copy this. I use npm, go back terminal and hit enter. All right, we have button, pagination and select right now. Great. So let's do npm run dev. Next, we are going to create function to fetch this URL, json placeholder.typecode.com slash pose, question mark, star to whatever number it is, and we're going to add limit to whatever number it is. All right, so let's go back to the lib folder, and I'm going to create a file called api.ts. So in here, I'm going to export a function called, I'm going to give a name of fetch pose, like that. And this function is like a parameter called a start or maybe page. The page is going to be number and also I'm going to set that the per page. And the per page, it also should be a number, right? And also here, I'm going to say const response set equals to, because this is a wait, of course, we need to change this function to async function. And then here, I'm going to wait for fetch. And then I'm going to put the link that we have on the browser here. I'm going to copy all of that and just paste that right here. And just make sure the star here is going to become from the page, right? Let's change that to a dynamic variable here. I'm going to do, let's say page. And also the limit here is also should be come from the props, which is per page, just like that. Right, so down here we can say cons post side equals to wait. We need to say respond.json. And then down here, I'm going to return the post just like that. So now we can use this function to make a fetch request on the we're gonna try that on the page first, which is right here. All right, so here on the home right here, I'm gonna say cons. Let's say data set equals to await because this is await. Of course, this function needs to be a sync function. And then this await, we need to say fetch, uh, fetch post come from the API. And then inside the fetch post, of course, we need to send the uh, page, which is one for now. And then for the per page, I'm going to say uh, maybe five, right? So now if I console log the data, we should have the data on the console right now. Let's just try to refresh the browser. So as you can see, we have an object here and inside the object, we have post and then this array right here, 
All right, so first thing first, I'm going to create types to handle the type of this response. So let's do types.ts. And here I want to export, uh, I'm gonna use interface call, let's say post. And then this post have a ID, ID should be number, have a title, title should be string and have a body. Body is also string. Right, so now let's close that. And then we are gonna use that type on this post. Because as you can see, if I hover the post, this is say, uh, this post is basically any types. So I'm gonna change that to use the post come from the, uh, uh, let me see, types right here, right? And then of course now in here, we can just directly grab the post like that. We can do structuring like that. And we can just console log like that and let's take a look on the console we get the same result but as you can see now it's just an array so we can map through that array so now i want to get the total data on this post because as you can see now this is just a uh, five different posts we don't get any other information for the total post because we need that for the pagination so in json placeholder the total post is giving inside the headers so we can grab that we can say cons total post set equals to we're going to make that into the number so we're going to parse the integer right here and also i'm going to say respond dot headers like that and then i'm going to get the name of the header is x dash total count like that and then here i'm going to say if there's no data on this x total cone i just want to put in zero right here oh yeah that is because we parse integer right here of course this is, should be just a string just like that and now we can just return the total post right here and of course we also can uh, grab that in here total post and let's try to console log that let's refresh and go back to the uh, console terminal and then as you can see we have a hundred posts the total post that this JSON placeholder give us, right? Let's first create the post component. In here, I just want to comment this out, right? Like that. And then inside the components folder, I'm gonna create another folder or let's call that post.tsx. And in here, I'm gonna say RFC and then change the name to uppercase post right there. And then here, I'm going to render that post on this home right here. So let's first uh, render a div and inside the div, I'm going to render a post come from the components like that. So now we have post, great. So inside the post, I'm going to put an, let's say heading one, let's say a uh, post, and then let's add some class name here. And also I'm gonna create another component called post list to render the list of the post. So let's do post-list.tsx. And here I'm gonna say RFC. Let's change the component into post list like that. And let's create the interface because we are going to grab the post come from the props right here that we send on this post right here. We are going to render the post list in here, basically post list. And then next, uh, we're going to send the post like that. Set equals to uh, some array in here. So we can grab that on this post list. And of course, uh, basically first, let's create the interface call normally i say post list props the prop should be have a post and the type should be come from the post uh, come from the lib slash types right here and this is going to be an array so now we can put the types on this component so we can do post list props i want to render just simple card in here use the set cn card so let's search for the card and this is basically what i'm going to use really simple so let's just copy the component name and then hit enter on the terminal all right it's done so now let's go back to the set cn and i just want to copy all of this right copy that and then in here i want to map through the post so we can say post dot map we grab the individual post and then in here i just want to return this card so basically i'm going to import the card card header title and i don't want to use this the description and for the content and for the footer here i just want to remove it 
as you can see we get some error here that is because we need to put the key key should become from the post.id all right so the title is, is going to become from the post title so we can do post.title and then the content it should become from the post dot content so you can do post dot body right cool so now we should have the as you can see this is empty right here because we don't have any post that we send on this post list right here if you want to see the example maybe you can just copy this example data here right i'm going to copy that and here let's go with cons post set equals to an array and then paste the example right here and you can send that in the inside this post right here so now you should see the beautiful card it's like that and then i'm going to add some space right here let's do space y to maybe four here we go and also i want to maybe on the layout add maybe here we are going to wrapping the children and add some uh, maximal width here to for excel maybe and also make it that on the center we can do mx auto great so next we need to make sure the data should become from the api so let's go back to page this is how we make a fetch request right so we need to copy that and then let's remove the import up here to make it look clean go back to post and then let's paste that right here just like that and of course we need to change the function to async function just like that and we have post right here of course we need to just remove uh, this data example let's import the fetch post and now we should have five different posts come from the api great as you can see we get some error here that is because let's go back to api and then this post here is to be have type post inside an array not just single object right so the error should be gone great so next how do we get the params value for example here if i send page set equals to one how do we get the page one right here how do we get the value so let's go back to page here and basically on this home we can get the search params inside this props right here if i console log that so let me console log the search params like this let's see what we have this should be on the terminal right because this is a server component as you can see we have page is one right here right as you can see we have page one and uh, if i add for example and page size equal to five and as you can see we have uh, page one and page size to five this is basically an object right so here i can add the interface interface call i'm gonna say home props we can set the search param right here into this object here is basically just key the key is going to be string as you can see here page and page size should be string and also the value should be string or undefined so now we can put the interface on this component so we can just paste that like that and then next we can send the search param into the post so we can say search param set equals to search param just like that so now we can grab the search param on the post component right here and also for the props type we can just create interface post props and then here it should be same like we create on the top right here on the home props right so now we can put that post props inside this post so we can grab the search params and put the type as a post props like that so here we can basically get the page and also the page size. So let's create a variable called current page. So that was to, I'm going to parse the integer for the value inside the search params dot page is going to be string like that. And then, or if we don't get the value, I'm going to put the default value to one, just like that. I'm going to copy and paste this and down here i'm going to grab the post per page so we can say post per page and then here we can say page size basically right and the default value is going to be five so now we can send the current page on this fetch post and also the post per page on this second argument right here 
but as you can see we get an error right here it's a um it's not assignable to type number uh i think we have already two parts integer right here oh yeah my bad this should be inside the parts in function so let's move this uh number inside in here like that and cut this number inside the parts in function so now the error is to be gone that's the beauty when we're working with typescript right great so everything look working so now let's make sure this is work so let's go back to post list and in this card title i just want to remove it and change that to as you can see i render post title and also the post id just to make sure that we have the uh indicator that here as you can see we have a post one two three four and five all right if i change that page to for example i'm gonna start from maybe six if i hit enter as you can see it start from six that means it works right if i change the page size to 10 for example it should be have 10 data right now right i can do start from uh page one let me do that and it should be have post one until post 10. all right it works great so now let's go back to the pagination component right here and let's click the github and then as you can see down here what we need to do is just copy and paste this pagination with links component so let's click on that and then it will bring us to this component so now let's just copy all of that and then here inside a ui folder let's create component called pagination with links dot dsx and paste all the content right here right so yeah now we can just use it let's go back to the documentation here of the pagination with links and as you can see to use that it's super simple we need to just copy this line here go to the post and then down here i'm going to map basically wrapping that inside the div and then put that like that and then put the pagination with links on the top right here and also the page is going to be the current page bit size is going to be the post per page and then the total count should become from the total post just like that and then now let's try to see as you can see down here we have the pagination but first i'm going to remove the bit size into maybe five to make it a little bit look nice right here and just add for example here i'm gonna add the maybe margin top to eight save and then as you can see all right so now let's try to click page one as you can see it works start from one i'm going to click page two it's going to be start from two right here page three and etc right that works so how do we add the as you can see here how do we add the row per page really simple in here we need to add props called bit size select option and this is basically an array with some number so i can say 5 10 25 or whatever i want 50 and just say 50 and then here uh, we have some error here oh yeah that is because we need to put this array inside the bit size option and put the array like this so it should be works so this component will automatically check the page size select option props and see if there's have a value of course showing that option on the left side so you can see we have the option if i change that to 10 as you can see there's changed to 10 and we have automatically 10 data right here and let's just add some class name uh space y to not space y but margin vertically into i want to say maybe eight save and now we have space right if i do five and everything works right now if i do five again and as you can see now it's just five data that showing right here if i do 5d now we have 5d data of course as you can see look pretty cool and the tab we have just two because we have a hundred data right okay that's super cool and we have already implemented that and hopefully this video fun and you find this video helpful see you on the next video